so we get Flash. This was awesome. Just really good character building. We don't have a real villain this time. It's a giant robot that's attacking the city. Well, monster. And it's just a hologram. Some kid fooling around. And I like this. It was different. Unique. Which left more for character development. You have the Flash finally dealing with Julian. I think it is the guy that works at the station with him. And they have these talks and heart-to-heart -heart moments and you go out to get a drink at the end. Finally, they're just bonding. And maybe they can work together. And if it doesn't screw things up, I'm kind of looking forward to possibly the time when he joins Team Flash. I think he'd be a good addition. You have Harrison Wells turns out to be a quasi-fraud. He's not a super genius that creates things. He's the guy that comes up with the ideas. He's a problem solver, but not the guy that comes up with the solutions, exactly. So it's kind of interesting. A little different. Looks like they're going to give him a couple of weeks to hang out and see if things work out. I kind of really like it. Harrison Wells is a great character. The three versions we've had, five or six if we count all the other Earths that showed up. <laughs> I like him. He's fascinating. We'll have to see where this goes. Yeah, yeah this, is a good, this is a good episode. We have the whole, especially with Cure Frost. I hope she's not going to turn evil, or if she does, they can bring her back to, within the fold. It'd be kind of neat to have Flash, Vibe, and Killer Frost out there saving the day. That's sort of my hope. We'll have to see where it goes, but especially if we get Jesse Quay a Kid Flash, and maybe a couple other people working together, that'd be great. Comment down below and let me know what you think of the, this episode and whatnot.